All right, this is the Lycon 1 system. There's a few tricks, a few things a little bit different. Um, it, a lot of stuff is the same. So here you've got like your, you can change all these things, just hit the button and it'll change the counterweight and the spread and all these different things. And then you hit enter and okay. And then you can chip, uh, pick your configuration. So I'll be doing full boom, 92s. And uh, you can look at the chart, and just scroll down, right? And then here, see, 98 feet, I'm good for 10.4. Uh, this is in pounds. And you can scroll over this way and pick a different configuration, right? And then once you've got the one that you want, uh, hit OK. <clears throat> It'll take you to the working screen. Uh, when you hit this button for the telescope, you'll see that it has pre-selected those sections for you. See, if I want to change it, I just hit this button. So we'll go back into here. Sorry, wrong one. This is your Charts, and this is your working screen, telescope, outriggers, obviously. So here in the working screen, you can turn this off and on. You can zero out your winches just by hitting F2 or F1. You can zero out your hook so you can get your net weight. You can silence your alarm if it's beeping at you. Uh, let's say you want to check your fuel. Hit shift and then the wrench. And there you go, you got your fuel. Let's say you want to change how sensitive your controls are, hit C. And then you can change how sensitive things are. So right now it has it's selected on the slewing. So you can change it to 100%, hit enter. Now it's at 100%. change how sensitive this one is, just arrow over, now, again, just pick the one you want, hit enter, and it'll change it, uh, right now the cursor is on this winch, hit this one, now it's on this winch, I want to turn that, right now it's off, I want to turn it on, now it's on, right, go over to the next one, same thing, this is your uh, main cylinder, I've got mine set at 60. Uh, the reason is, is because uh, I'm gonna have a lot of boom out. And uh, don't listen to the cocky guys who are like, I can, I have finesse, I run it at 100%. You know what, you just do what's best for you and don't worry about people like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will say at the end of the day, you should put it back to where it was because it is annoying to get in the crane and it's set at 20% or 40 and you can't remember how to change it and you know it's, it can be really annoying so so we'll put it back to where it was when you're done I'll be putting mine back to 75 because that's where it was all right so that's good so back to the working screen now you can fire up the lower from this button or key and the upper from this key um, and when you do you should Wait for the glow plugs. Uh, they'll be, it'll be solid when it's on. When it's flashing, that's when you're good to turn it over. Uh, oh yeah, the screen brightness. So I'm on day shift, so I got a clear screen and a white screen. But if you press this button here and then the arrow, it'll change it to dark. If you use that one instead, it just changes how bright it is. So there you go, a few little tricks. Um, I've got a huge library of crane manuals, everything from Manitowoc, Link Belt, Bee Bear to Dano, uh, and all make some all make some models. Uh, some guys are selling them. You can't give your you don't represent the company like to Dano and you're selling a to Dano manual. That's actually illegal. 
So I don't sell the manuals. I just give them, I'll, I'll send you a digital copy if you want it. But all I want is a subscription to my channel and a like, leave a comment saying which manual you want, and I'd be happy to send it to you if I have it. Have a great day. Stay safe out there, guys.